Hello everybody, today I'm going to discuss how to solve the problem Gilbert's Hotel from the Code Forces Run 639. In the Division 1 version, this was the problem A, while in the Division 2 version, this was the problem C. So, we are given an infinite hotel where in each room there is one guest, and we need to find if after a shuffling every room is still filled, and this means that no room should be filled with two or more people and no room should be empty and we are given here the way the shuffling works at first the problem seems quite hard because we are talking about an infinite axis of numbers and we need to find an effective way to check the problem condition but after reading this statement carefully you will realize that uh, this uh, transition works the same for each k such that the reminder of k at n is identical. I'm going to go to sketchpad and uh, show why uh, this makes the problem easier. Now, I'm going to write how the remainders are changing. So we have 0, 1, 2, and so on up to n, and then n minus 1. And then once again 0, 1, 2, up to n minus 1, and so on. As you can see, the array of reminders with respect to number n is periodic, with its period being equal to n. And given the rule in the problem statement, as in k goes to k plus a of k mod n, All the positions with a given reminder are going to be at the same distance because this value will be the same and this is a different value at the beginning. So we can simplify the problem and reformulate as follows. Given the numbers from 0 to n minus 1, we should find out if there are two numbers on the identical position with respect to reminder at n. This works because, as I said, the sequences of reminders are always going to be at the same distance. So if, for example, two reminders return the same reminder, this means that we can translate some reminder to another reminder and there will be two values in the same place. Now I'm going to discuss my implementation and some ways to make it easier. As you can see here, I got pretest test on problem A and competing in division one, of course. Even though the, prob the round got unrated, I still competed and submitted the problems since this is a good practice after all. Back to the implementation. So for each test case, I'm reading the input and uh, creating a set. In this set, I'm going to keep the reminders and uh, I'm going to use the properties of the set in order to check out if for some reminder we are going to have it twice or not. In order to do this, I uh, firstly find out the reminder. It can be written just as i mod n, but my first submission included also some negative numbers and uh, I didn't bother to change this part but it can be simplified to just i mod n. This assert is not really important because as it's a conclusion of the previous submission where I was checking if I was doing the things right. Now the next position is going to be i plus the value at the position i. Also, we need to find its reminder. In this case, we actually need to use the formula I have used previously because the numbers can be negative. And modulo does not work well with negative numbers in C++. Now, all we have to do is to check the property I mentioned earlier, as in if there are two reminders which appear in the same position. Like if there is one reminder which appears in two positions. And this can be done using a set and checking if I found some reminder in a previous state. And if this is true, then the answer is no. Now we should uh, include the 
reminder in the set and then after each test check if uh, we found a reminder twice or not this can be done using a bool variable if you liked watching this video please like the video subscribe to my channel and press the bell button if you want to be the first one to get notifications about my new videos also you can join my discord server where you can talk with people about competitive programming the link is in the description until the next time stay safe stay healthy good luck and goodbye